Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys in good health. Today we gonna show you 2024 Kia EV9 walk around and review, and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. 2024 Kia EV9 starting at $56,000 estimated. The Kia lineup is about to transform into something more electric. The EV9 SUV, which is about the same size as the current gas-only 3-row Telluride, shares its platform with the upcoming Hyundai Ioniq 7. The EV9 will be offered with rear and all-wheel drive, with the latter featuring a 379-horsepower dual-motor powertrain. Both the AWD and long-range rear-drive models will have a 99.8-kilowatt-hour battery that Kia says will deliver 300 miles of range with the single-motor setup. The standard RWD EV9 will have a 76.1-kilowatt-hour battery but the range is unknown. It'll also be able to tow up to 5,000 pounds, the same max capacity as the gas-powered Telluride. What will likely attract many families is the EV9's promise of a usable third row of seats. Not only will it be among the few three-row EVs on the market, but it's expected to have a relatively affordable starting price. Once we get the chance to test one ourselves, we'll update this story with driving impressions. What's new for 2024? The EV9 is a new nameplate for the Kia brand and the next in the company's plan to have 11 new electric vehicles for sale by 2026. We expect the EV9 to go on sale by the end of 2023. There's no official pricing available yet for the Kia EV9, but we expect the base model to start at roughly $56,000. Once we learn more about how much it'll cost, we'll update this story with that information and make a recommendation on which trim offers the best bang for your buck. EV motor, power, and performance. The EV9 lineup starts with the rear-wheel drive standard model, which features a single rear-mounted electric motor that makes 215 horsepower. The long-range version is rear-drive too. However, despite adding a bigger battery, its peak power drops to 201 horses. Kia claims the former will hit 62 miles per hour in a leisurely 8.2 seconds and the latter will need a slothful 9.4 seconds. All-wheel drive models have a dual-motor arrangement with a combined 379 ponies, and an available boost mode will increase the peak torque output and provide quicker acceleration. Kia claims the AWD EV9 will hit 62 miles per hour in just 5.3 seconds, making it the one to get for folks who want the punchy takeoffs that EVs are typically known for. A performance-oriented GT model will join the lineup for the 2025 model year and could offer as much as 576 horsepower. range, charging, and battery life. The entry-level standard model comes with a 76.1 kilowatt-hour battery pack. The standard long-range model and the all-wheel drive versions have a larger 99.8 kilowatt-hour pack. Kia says the long-range EV9 should drive as far as 300 miles between charges. Just don't expect the dual-motor all-wheel drive variant to have a similarly long range. Every EV9 uses Kia's 800-volt electrical architecture, allowing DC fast chargers to replenish its battery quickly. That type of connection is said to add 149 miles of range in just 15 minutes. Fuel Economy and Real-World MPGU The EPA hasn't yet released fuel economy estimates for the EV9, but given its blocky shape and significantly larger size, we expect to see a lower number than the Kia EV6 117 MP Go combined. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo The EV9 will come in either 6 or 7 passenger variants, depending on whether the second row has captain's chairs or a bench. On the EV9's upper trim levels, the third row is power folding. Kia hasn't released a full list of dimensions and details yet, but compared to the Telluride, the EV9 second row is just as comfortably spacious. The third row has more legroom and headroom, 